Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. News today out of Greece in Santorini, right here, a whole bunch of cruise ships come by all the time, dropping off cruise passengers, and the views are stunning. I mean, the amount of photos you can find on uh, Santorini are just unbelievable. Absolutely beautiful, uh, but to get up here is a bit of a trick. You can't just, uh, you know, just take an escalator from the bottom there all the way to the top. There's a couple ways to get up here. There's one way, uh, by the way, look at that view when you're up here. One way to get up here is by, um, well, walking. Another way to get up here is uh, either taking a tram or the other way to get up here is riding a donkey. Um, donkey operators have been working on Santorini for years and years and years. You can see the pathway leading up there zigzagging all the way up. The donkeys are very calm and very well behaved. They know what they're doing. This is all they do. They work their way up the trail with their owners uh, to guide them. And it's kind of a treat for some of the tourists. The problem is the Greek government has decided to pass a law to outlaw obese people from riding the donkeys. That's right. If you're fat, you can't go on the donkey anymore. It's over. Donkeys are suffering spinal injuries from the extra weight of some of the tourists. Uh, the new weight limit, 220 pounds or less. Uh, you can go on the donkey. If you're over 220 pounds, uh-uh, can't do it. Either walk up yourself or take the tram. I don't know, though, what the weight limit is on the tram. But here's a shot of the uh, cable car as you're coming down. It's a beautiful place, uh, lots of fun, great outing. But uh, look, if you're uh, you know hitting the buffet a little too hard, you may want to uh, you know not go up here. I don't know. We'll have to see how this goes. But the law's been passed, and this donkey says thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Now, in other news. Back in the USA, Frontier Airlines had an incident the other day. A woman boarded the plane with a support animal and she was asked to leave. The support animal in question was not declared to the staff until she was on the plane. It was a squirrel. Yes, a woman tried to board a plane with a support animal called a squirrel. The folks at Frontier call that a rodent, and no rodents are allowed. They escorted her off the plane. She wouldn't leave <laughs> on her own. They had to wheel her out of there. Uh, she was not happy. Her name will not be disclosed by me. Other support animals that have been attempted to board airplanes have been peacocks, have been, um, well, how about a falcon? Would you like to get the aisle row seat here with this guy? Uh, sitting right between you and the window passenger, a full-blown falcon. Look at that beak. Uh, or how about would you like to uh, get on a plane and uh, share a seat with someone who has a support animal as a turkey? Looking out the window together, getting ready to take off into the clear blue yonder. How about a little support dog right behind your seat back? You know, while you're relaxing and trying to read a magazine or closing your eyes a little bit, the little slobber comes down the side of your neck. Wouldn't that be fun? How about this turkey right here looking at you between the seats? Uh, isn't that a beautiful, a beautiful picture, don't you think? And then, of course, there's the support hog. There you go, folks, the support hog to make life a little easier for the flyer. Anyway, those are a couple of stories that are making the rounds today on the cruise, cruise and flight area. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, join me Monday to Friday at 5 o'clock Eastern. We talk cruise ships and other wacky stories. And I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.